Alright guys, so today is Friday, March 24th, 2017. As you can tell by the weird way that I'm speaking, I had a seizure today. I had a tonic clonic seizure a few hours ago. Um, when I became conscious, my little puppy Zena was licking my mouth, um, trying to lick the saliva away so that I wouldn't choke on it. Um, my bigger dog, my little furry son Debbie, uh, he was trying to help as well, but Zena was pushing him away for some reason. Um, so this is the image that I got when I became conscious. She was actually licking my teeth because my teeth were clenched. And I bit my tongue. I don't know if it's visible, but from what I can see there's like a red spot on my tongue from where I bit. Not really sure if it's visible but it does hurt and it impairs my speech quite a bit and I do still have a really bad headache and I had a couple of smaller seizures since the tonic clonic seizure that I had earlier today and it's not fun to anybody who doesn't have seizures it's not fun and it hurts for a long time at least for me it hurts for a long time afterwards and that's really all i can say about it is not fun uh, last week i had a seizure a couple days before my period started and the mix of that and also that I missed medication the night before messed up my hormones a lot and so I had a seizure. But the one I had today and the ones following the tonic clonic seizure that I had today, um, I would imagine have been caused by exhaustion. Um, because yesterday I went to go pick up a computer from my mom's friend's place um, so that I can finally edit videos on a computer instead of using my phone to record and edit everything. And I also went to the store and bought a bunch of stuff for the dogs and some fruits and vegetables. and then came home and gave both of the dogs a bath uh, separately of course and then myself took a shower afterwards and as you can imagine it's hard work especially when you've got a puppy in the bathtub um, but yeah I'm pretty sure I was just really exhausted and just my body can't handle it because since I was sick for such a long time, I lost some of the stamina that I had before. And so now I have to work on building up my stamina so that I can continue to do more things during the day instead of being limited to doing a couple things and then having to go to sleep because I'm so exhausted and not being able to function properly even when I'm out with my friends even though I tell them yeah I'm great I'm feeling great even though inside really I'm feeling really crappy and feeling like my head's about to explode or like I'm about to faint and even going out and running errands with my mom, I, I lie sometimes. I don't want to act like my seizure is a big deal or like when I have smaller seizures, I don't want to 
act like it's a big deal. So I pretend like it didn't happen. Like if it does happen and I get caught that it happened, then I can't avoid it. But usually I tend to avoid when it actually happens, I tend to avoid being caught so that people around me don't start freaking out and saying, oh, oh no, you have to lie down, you, oh, you can't do this and you can't do that because then I feel even more limited and then it's even more stressful and then it causes another seizure. So then it's a whole cycle and it's a real pain in the butt. So what I'm hoping for the future that eventually I get better and I don't have to deal with this and the people around me that I love and that love me don't have to deal with it either because I know it's a huge task to take care of. It's not something that I want someone in a future relationship with me to feel like they have to take care of me and they have to stay with me because they have to take care of me. I would want a relationship where someone is with me because of who I am and not because they feel like they have to take care of me, like they feel sorry for me or for something. Because I've been in a relationship with somebody like that before um, because I felt like I could help them or that I could take care of them when in reality I can hardly take care of myself um, but yeah it's it's not a great way to base your relationship on that and it's it's just doomed to fail if you do that I hope that one day I would not have to deal with biting my tongue after a tonic clonic seizure because for one it messes up my speech and I really hate not being able to speak clearly and also I salivate a lot more and it's really frustrating um, so the thing is, I would also not have to kind of rely on people around me to take care of me if I black out and have a clonic seizure because I want to be able to go on with my day and for everybody else to go on their day without having to worry about things like that because it is really stressful and I know that my friends and my family have on um, both sides have told me that it's really terrifying to watch me have a seizure and that's something that I really would like to avoid but Unfortunately, I am in the position where I can only rely on medication, and like I mentioned before, it's frustrating, so I just have to deal with it. It's just another thing in my life that I have to deal with, so that's how I see it, that it's not who I am, but it's part of who I am and it's a part of the reason that I am the person that I am today. I feel like maybe I'm more compassionate towards people because I have epilepsy because I feel like I expect people to treat me the way um, I would treat them and vice versa obviously. And that if I want to be treated fairly and like I'm a person and not just a number uh, on a graph or just a thing, then I should treat people with compassion. 
even if that means that they're treating me like crap and I still treat them with compassion. Um, it does get difficult sometimes, but I, I still try my hardest to be the best person that I can be because if not, then the world would be filled with more Donald Trumps and we don't need any more of those. It is Epilepsy Awareness Month and in Toronto it will be Purple Day in a couple of days. So I felt like today, especially after having so many seizures in such a short period of time and the fact that my hormones seem to be changing and I feel like for women it's more common for when the seasons are changing for example for spring and fall that the seizures are more common because it changes your body chemistry and so your hormones are basically they're changed so obviously it's going to cause a disruption and then seizures so yeah i just feel like having seizures is just another thing sure it gets difficult and I hate being told that I have to lie down because I might have a seizure and, or my eyes look funny that, um, well, usually when my eye, my vision is just wonky, but I get frustrated when I'm told to sit down, lie down because I have to make sure that I'm in a safe space so that if I do have a seizure that there's minimal injury but I still feel like I want to get things done and it's just so frustrating and I feel like anybody out there who has epilepsy feels the exact same way and it's really it's really something that I try to stay positive and really if there's any negative things that happen I try to even see a, a lesson out of it or something positive out of it because I think if I didn't I would I would go and say, sure, epilepsy prevents me from doing things like climbing Mount Everest or skydiving or uh, going to a club that has strobe lights, which I don't really enjoy anyway, and I don't understand why people would enjoy strobe lights because it gives me a headache and I can only imagine that maybe it's a little bit less of a headache, but it's still pretty much a headache. Um, I can't uh, go out with friends just on a limb and just decide that I want to go somewhere or leave the country somewhere. I have to make sure that I have travel insurance just in case something happens. Um, and I'm not exactly... Uh, in the right position to even go traveling because of my financial situation because being on disability is not the best thing um, it does get difficult sometimes because some people when they find out that you have epilepsy they're like oh you have seizures and then they treat you like you're the plague and it's really sad to be honest but it's just someone who hasn't been educated on what epilepsy is 
someone who thinks that, yeah, this person's possessed and that's why they're having seizures because they're possessed. And, um, it's fine because it doesn't really matter to me if they think that way because it's not affecting my life. I'm not getting mad over it. I'm not sad that they don't want to be friends with me, that they're treating me like a like I'll just be friends with someone else. I have a perfectly awesome best friend who also has seizures. And you know what? I'm not mad about it because she's an awesome best friend. I have an awesome sister who is there for me to talk to at any point. I have an awesome mom that's there for me. I have an awesome dad. I have an awesome group of friends, of vegan friends, which includes my best friend. And they're there for me to talk whenever I need it. And having a support system like that is, is very important and it's very, very humbling and very it it just makes me happy see and there is one of my awesome family members right there my awesome mom my awesome little furry daughter Zina and my awesome little furry son Debbie my beautiful baby is super tired and unleashing the beast and my like I said my awesome mom who is there for me because she loves me so much and I'm so lucky to have her in my life and even though I am sometimes crazy with my emotions um, because of medication she still puts up with me and I'm so grateful for that because she's the best mom ever and you know I love I love you so much and I am so happy that I have you as a mom some things that you can take away from this yes I love my family no I do not think that my epilepsy defines me it's just a part of me and uh, I'm not entirely photosensitive but I do hate strobe lights because they're irritating um, no you should not put a spoon in my mouth because I'll just end up breaking my teeth. No, I'm not gonna swallow my tongue because my tongue is attached to the bottom of my mouth. Um, no, I won't be coughing up blood. If there's blood coming out of my mouth, then it's because I bit my tongue and the blood is coming from my tongue. Um, no, epilepsy is not contagious. Um, so you're not gonna get epilepsy just from hanging around me. It's not like the common flu. Um, yes, epileptics can have humor. So uh, we can laugh at jokes when people are- Who wants a cookie? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> epileptics can make jokes too. So when somebody like Shane Dawson makes a joke about being uh, shook <laughs> uh, for his prank video, then people like me, who actually have a sense of humor, will laugh at it because it's hilarious. And you know what? There are epileptics who might not laugh about it because they don't have a sense of humor. It's just like every other person. It's a, you know, it's a 50-50 chance that they'll have a sense of humor or not. So, like me, I have a sense of humor, of course. And that's why I have a comedy channel. Um, Cause I wanna make people laugh. And I feel like having epilepsy has taught me to, strive to be an even better person than I could be 
if I didn't have epilepsy because I have all these resources to learn more and now it has brought me to a place where I feel like I want to learn more about the world and other uh, disabilities that people may cope with and basically just be more educated and understand that you know everybody's just a person and there are certain things that not prevent but stand in the way of them achieving their goals and it's their responsibility just like every other person to break through that wall that's in their way and achieve what they want in life. So sometimes the wall is thicker, like someone with a disability, but you know, it all depends on how hard you work. So with that said, my head is getting a little wonky, so I'm going to sign off. Make sure you check out my other channels, my comedy channel and my vlog channel. My comedy channel for more laughs Wednesdays and Thursdays and my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. Love you guys. Have a great day. Mwah.